This is WJZ News at 7. And hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and right here on WJZ. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, now at 7, we continue to follow that developing story out of downtown Baltimore where a parking garage partially collapsed. And that WJZ live at 7 o'clock. Avid Joy Burnett right in front of that garage right now. And Avid Joy, it's obvious parking garages don't collapse every day. This is unusual, which has many of you asking, how did this happen? And when was the last inspection done on this structure specifically? Those are key questions that officials will be asking tonight. We spoke with someone from Baltimore City Fire, and they told us that structures like this should get inspected every single year. Instead, the last time this one was inspected was almost five years ago in 2017. That official also told me that it's up to the building owners to do those inspections. The good news here tonight, no injuries after this partial collapse. A parking garage in one of the busiest parts of Baltimore's tourism district partially collapsed Friday morning. We have a collapse of the parking garage. The garage is at 1 East Pratt Street. I heard like a loud, like thunder. Across from the convention center. And then I heard sirens, and when I came out, it was just mayhem. Portions of the second floor crumbled onto the first floor, right over the entrance, where a parking attendant would usually stand. But just before the 10 o'clock hour, the booth was empty. When to say a car had just driven in, narrowly missing the collapse. Today, uh, we are grateful uh, that there is no one injured uh, in this uh, incident. This could have been a, a severe uh, tragedy. A Florida based company lists the building that's attached to the garage as part of its portfolio. Baltimore City Fire officials say the garage should be inspected every year, but the last inspection was nearly five years ago in 2017. That spokesperson also said it's the garage owner's responsibility to continue conduct those annual inspections. We called a property manager and two senior directors of the building left voicemails but haven't heard back. Please give me a buzz. My number is 443. Councilman Eric Costello said the three-level garage could hold about 230 cars. Today, only about 50 cars were in there, and now all of them are stuck. We don't have a car seat, so hopefully we can get the car seat out of there. This or... man drove down from Delaware to visit the National Aquarium with his wife and baby. They parked here just 90 minutes before the collapse. They're now going to have to find another way home. I don't know. I'm going to try to get them to tow it to us when they're done. I think they, that's the least they could do, right? And so many more people could have been parked inside this garage. Take this weekend, for example. On Saturday and Sunday, English Premier Soccer League teams will be playing here in Baltimore City. So more people could have been parked inside when this building partially collapsed. Live at 7, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.